Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin lecturing computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to calculate the data mean, median and mode in Excel 2010. Now before we do the calculations let remind, let's remind ourselves of what we mean by mean, median and mode. These are measures of central tendency of a set of measurements. Uh, what we mean by that is what is the tendency of the data to cluster or center around certain numerical values and these values are the mean, median and mode. So they're measures of central tendency. The mean also known as the average and it's important to know that because Excel uses the term average instead of mean. The mean of a set of quantitative data is the sum of the measurements divided by the number of measurements contained in the data set. So it's one of the easiest statistical uh, formulas and calculations that we know. Here I have some sample data. I've got 10 values uh, starting with 6 and going up to 7 over here. And according to my definition of the mean, if I add those 10 values together and divide by 10, I will get the mean value. And that's what I've done here. In this top section here, I've added the 10 numbers together divided them by 10, this gives me a figure of 60 over 10, which gives me a value of 6. So the mean, or average value, of these 10 figures up here is a value of 6. So that's the mean. Now let's take a look at the median. The median is a slightly different measurement of ten central tendency. The median of a set of quantitative data is the middle number when the measurements are arranged in ascending or descending order. So here's my same sample data again here. I've got the same 10 figures as I've had in the looking at the mean example. And when I arrange these values in ascending orders, as I have here, um, we can see that there isn't a single um, number which is a middle number. In this case, we have two numbers in the middle because we have an even number of measurements, 10 in this case. So what we do to calculate the mean when this happens is we take the two numbers in the middle, 6 and 7, highlighted in red and underlined here, add those together and divide it by 2. So 6 plus 7 is 13, divided by 2 gives us a median of 6.5. So the median value for these set sample data here is 6.5 and you can see that that's quite close to but it's not exactly the same as the mean that we calculated earlier on. If we have an odd number of um, uh, measurements, the one that we take for the median is the one that will be in the center. Finally, let's remind ourselves of what the mode is, and the mode of a set of quantitative data is the measurement that occurs most frequently in the data set. And once again, here is our sample data using the same 10 values as we've had previously. And I can see, and examining this here, that the measurement 7 occurs four times, and that's more than any other measurement uh, in this small set of data, and therefore the mode is 7. So these three measurements of central tendency, uh, the mean works out at 6, the median works out at 6.5, and finally the mode works out at 7, and this gives us an idea of the central tendency of our data. Now let's take a look at some sample data over here on the left-hand side. Here are some scores, I'm highlighting them now in column B, uh, for a mathematics test. Uh, and in this test, I've got 25 students just um, uh, named by number here. Now, it's not as easy for me to uh, do the calculations in my head as I have done over here in the uh, mean, median, and mode examples. So I need Excel to do this job for me. So let's go ahead and calculate the mean first. And to do all of this, I'm going to use the formulas ribbon across the top of my screen up here. So I'm going to put my values in column E. So first of all, mean. And what I want to be able to do is uh, insert a formula. So I'm going to say equals, first of all. Uh, the formula I'm looking for is not listed here, so I need to check on the more functions uh, um, option. And in this, you will see that there is a statistical option, which gives us uh, lots and lots of different statistical calculations, statistical formulas that we can use in Excel. And the one I need for mean, as I mentioned, is the one average. And this gives us uh, our mean uh, when we select the data range. So I can type it in here if I choose to in the function arguments window. But by far, the simplest thing to do is to just select all the data in the data range with your mouse and then click OK. And we can see here that the mean or average is calculated for my maths scores at 58.56. Now let's take a look at the median. And remember, well, we need to see well, what is the middle value in this data range over, over here. 
So it's not as easy to see uh, with only 10 values. This time I've got 25 values and it's hard for me to figure out what the median is. So once again, I'm going to use a formula. So type in equals, choose more functions, select the statistical one. And this time I want to scroll down to median. It's an option here on its own. It's going to give us the median or the middle of a set of given numbers. So select that. It's now waiting for me to enter in the values. So I'm, all I'm going to do is, with my mouse, select all the values in column B, representing my 25 scores, and click OK. And we can see here that the median uh, of the data that we are presented here is not the same as the mean, quite close, but it is 58. So this is the middle number when my scores are presented in um, ascending order. Finally, the mode. Let's create the mode. So once again, press the equal sign, and from the formulas ribbon, choose more functions again, statistical ones, and scroll down to M till we get the mode. Now there are two modes uh, uh, formulas here. Um, I have only a single set of data, so I'm going to choose the mode single, SNGL for short. This returns the most frequently occurring or repetitive value in an array or range of data, so I'm going to select that. Once again, it's waiting for me to input the uh, data range, so I'm just going to select with my mouse uh, all the uh, scores, test scores in column B, and click OK. And it tells me that my mode, the value, the score that's occurring most often uh, in this particular test, is a value of 40%. So that's how you calculate the data mean, median, and mode in Excel 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.